guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about my product empties. A lot of you wanted to see what I've been using. Uh, these products have been collected for over two months now, easy. And there are just a few items I have repurchased uh, more than once. So without further ado, let's quickly jump into the video. Okay, so I'm gonna begin with skincare. The first product I see right here is this one. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. So I finished this like you can see and I truly genuinely love this product and a lot of you already know that you know um this product is fabulous for all skin types but especially dry to very dry skin like i have an extremely dry skin okay um i have phases where i flake like the place around my nose completely flakes off and i just cannot put any makeup so if you have that kind of skin type i highly recommend the moisture surge they now have a hundred hour auto replenishing hydrator um, it's just, I think, extra moisturization. Okay, so I have been using this product for years now, okay? And I'll tell you why I love this so much. A, because I'm extremely dry skin. And B, because I feel like it acts as like a very good overnight mask. So you can use this as a regular moisturizer when you wake up. But how I use this is on days where I feel very dry and I'm like, nothing is working on me. This is what I run to. I just take a very generous amount, like a thick layer, okay? I don't take like a dot. I take a thick layer and I layer it on all over my face and my neck even and it sits like a mask okay it doesn't get absorbed into the skin quickly so it sits like a mask and I'm just like drenched with this I finished more than one like jar this is just one I have collected for this video but I have clearly finished multiple and I have mini sizes as well and I take them um, when I travel because I feel like I don't know where I'm going if I feel extremely dry my skin has phases um, this one is a great product what I love about this is also that it's not heavy duty oily sticky none of that it's just a very good hydrating product for your skin very good for mature skin as well if your moms are looking for a good moisturizer and if you want to gift them something I think this is a great product to gift them it's a great brand it's reputable uh, it's credible and also you can use this on your cuticles if you're extremely dry on your elbows there are different places you can like use this product which I love okay the next skincare product I have is by Believe this is the Believe True Cream Aqua Balm and this is the one it is um, the bluish gel consist it's over of course uh, but it's the bluish gel consistency okay there are two different kinds of uh, Believe moisturizers which I love but this is one of them and this can be used for um, oily skin because it is not very thick it's it can be comparable to the moisture surge but they're still very different products i'm just saying the consistency is like the moisture surge but this is ultra hydrating as well like all of them are so good clearly they're my favorites and they're empty for a reason it smells so pleasant and if you really want to try belief i feel like you should try this product because it's one of their cult favorite products it's like a bestseller their aqua bomb and uh, yeah it's great i keep using it i also have minis that i carry with me i have everything hydrating possible in my skincare kit okay um, highly recommend again for normal to oily skin the next moisturizer is also from belief and this is the belief the true cream moisturizing balm now this one I purchased um, just like a month ago and I started using this. I freaking missed using this cream. The Aqua Balm is sort of like a gel consistency but the True Cream Moisturizing Balm is a cream consistency. It's slightly more thicker and great for all skin types as well as dry to very dry skin. Trust me girl. Like I use the crap out of this and it's over and I loved using this cream. It smells delicious, like so soft and supple. It's nothing too overpowering. You can use this under makeup. It sits beautifully. You can use this before you go to bed. I use this straight up for a month. Uh, AM and PM both. I just moisturize at any time I feel dry. So I don't really have a routine as such. I just like pick it up, lather it on my face and let it be. And it really, really stays nice and supple. It comes in mini sizes as well. If you want to give this a shot, you absolutely must. You can get both of these, both of the minis, or you can get both big sizes. You are not going to regret these purchases. Trust me, you're going to use it like I did. Completely empty. Okay, my chain kind of broke. I don't know what happened there, but that's sad. I really like this chain. Oh well, RIP. 
Okay, since we're on the topic of skincare, I want to mention beauty oils and my OG peeps already know what I'm about to say. Um, I have with me the Color Bar Cellular Dry Oil, not one, but two, and one I'm currently using and I have a backup as well in my skincare drawer. So that's how much I love this oil and I have tried a bunch of beauty oils to tell you that I just go back to this consistently. Color Bar typically is a makeup brand and you won't think of them when you think of skincare, you know, but it's, it's a pleasant surprise and I never thought i would love this but it is such a good beauty oil oh my god like this is for all skin types like genuinely this is typically you can use this before makeup it's a moisture boosting treatment but you can use this before makeup and then put on your foundation it sits gorgeously on your face but i use this as a pure skincare product now i keep it in my bathroom because i just need this every time like i said i'm a very dry skin type so if you're struggling with flaky skin and dry skin all these products that I'm mentioning right now is for you darling it is for you <laughs> um, so you can get either one but I just love a good beauty oil oils are my favorite to just put on my body my skin everywhere like I said I love to look like a greasy donut before going to bed because it just helps all my um, my skin come together in the morning you know okay let me pick it up and show it to you it is just so good okay this is the consistency of it now i know you might think miles well i can just use coconut oil but i don't know how thick that coconut oil is and is it good for your face or not okay this i know it has not broken me out it's not given me any skin concern as such um it has just done its job by hydrating my skin and the best part about this is that it stays for a while on your skin before you can reapply now there are some products that that um, I apply and it gets soaked up into the skin so fast it's like my skin is just waiting for moisturization and it just drinks up all the skincare I put onto my skin um, this stays for quite some time like the consistency I can feel my skin still hydrated for hours before I can reapply and I do reapply this a lot during the day that's just my personal preference because I just love how it makes my skin feel you know most of the times on story when i come looking like super oiled and all of you are like what have you used on your skin it's mostly this okay and it's something you can keep going to because i feel like it's not going to clog your pores or have this sticky consistency it's not heavy on the skin it's perfectly formulated beautiful dry oil that dries in good time gets absorbed hydrates the skin it's everything i want in a beauty oil it is so good i highly highly recommend it there's a reason why i have like four of these in my house right now because it works before makeup and as skincare i'm gonna move on to moisturizers okay because you guys know again i'm all about the moisturization if there's one thing i can tell you about skincare like one tip i could give you i always say intensely moisturize your skin and body that is the one tip i give everyone i don't say anything else because that's the only thing i do for my body i have been loving nivea a lot lately like i have loved them but i'm beyond obsessed with their formulation and just the way their products feel i feel like they have a product for every skin type of course they've been in the industry for years now so i know you know what i'm about to say right now i've spoken about this tons of times and it is the nivea oil and lotion coco nourish 48 hour deep moisture care this is the lotion i'm talking about oh my god this is with deep moisture serum cocoa butter and coconut oil for very dry skin that's me baby and this is the 400 ml bottle because it's the biggest bottle i can get if they had an 800 ml jumbo size i would purchase that any day <laughs> but they just this is like the largest size i believe i am so crazy about this product and i'll tell you why i just don't have one two three and the fourth one is almost getting over in my bathroom that's how crazy i am about this and this is the same one it's the coco nourish one at all times now i know nivea has other creams like shea butter and like tons and tons of other uh, formulations i have tried other i want to say flavors and like you know there are other creams but i always run back to this one and i figured that this is my favorite one i also have travel sizes the medium size one to take with me when i travel all in all it's a very thick consistency it's not one of those serum light moisturizers it is quite 
thick and gorgeous texture i feel i like eating it sometimes it's so like buttery on your body the fragrance is so amazing okay i love the fact that it comes with a pump i prefer a pump any day over the tilting bottle thing because if you use body moisturizer as much as i do you want easy packaging so i love that i can keep pumping this out highly recommend sticking to bath and body products i have one oil right here this is a body oil and it's the bath and body works stress relief oil this is the eucalyptus plus tea with natural essential oils this is 118 ml the sticker is sort of like coming out because like oil has fallen all over it such a great product it's a bit pricier for being a body oil because it's bath and body works you're paying for the name and you're paying for the smell and the quality <laughs> i guess but it is exceptional like the aroma therapy range in bath and body works is really good they have amazing candles you know i love candles that's bath and body works right there but they have um the aroma therapy section where they sell um stress relief and thankful and all these other very pleasant and beautiful spa like fragrances in their candles you can definitely check that out but they also have body lotions shower gels and body oils as well in that sort of range and i feel like this is a very good range for your moms your aunts anyone who's just very like calm in general like spa like luxurious even for your your husbands of course if you want your husbands and boyfriends smelling beautiful bath and body works it is man it's for 1495 bucks sometimes there are a lot of sales going on on their website uh 2 plus 1 2 on 2 like you just have to check it out sometimes they reduce the price of these things but the text of this oil is also brilliant like you can see it is not a sticky consistency you don't like sticky oils you know since we live in india uh, it's very humid and you don't like to sweat on top of this if you sweat on this i don't think it's going to make a difference because it gets absorbed very beautifully into the skin and leaves the skin looking very nice and honey you smell beautiful i don't have anything bad to say about bath and body works is one of my favorite bath and body brands ever because i'm a die hard fan of the formulation and i don't mind paying the price uh, because i just love bath and body products in general so yeah this body oil is fabulous Okay now that we're done with our skincare bath and body products I'm going to move on to hair and it's the only last product I have um again I've spoken about this on my Instagram a ton of times this is the shampoo and mask by Vella Elements okay it is the renewing shampoo it has zero parabens and zero sulfates and this is like the OG Vella Elements shampoo this is the mask right here it's the Elements renewing mask uh 150 ml it comes in a tub like this they also have a conditioner okay that is like this i have tried this multiple times but i somehow did not love the conditioner it didn't do much for me you can tell that the hydration is not that much so i ditched the conditioner and i only went for the mask the mask is so good it's actually a uh, more hydrating than the conditioner okay so how do i use the mask i just shampoo my hair regularly the way you normally do and then you squeeze the excess water and then you You go in with this mask it's empty okay you want to take a generous amount of that and you want to just apply it from here to below um not very much on your roots but just like run it all over your hair especially on your ends and you want to just don't be like conduce <laughs> just take enough and just lather it all over the hair and just let it be like say 5 to 7 minutes while you're cleansing the rest of your body you're shaving doing whatever let the mask sit on your hair for a longer time the more you let it sit the more effect it has on your hair and the more softer it becomes i use it like say 5 minutes i really don't sit in the shower for that long so yeah it smells delicious you know those salons that wash your hair and blow dry your hair girl it's going to smell like that and the shampoo is incredible like it may suit some of you it may not suit some of you but this is my personal experience of this shampoo i'm going to leave a disclaimer so that i don't get people attacking me it's my favorite okay does will it work on everyone i don't think so you have to try it to see it okay even i in the past have tried multiple shampoos and i then came to this conclusion and in the future if i find something even better you know that would be my favorite so i've used multiple sun silk shampoos the pink bottle the yellow the purple the black i've tried it all i went for shampoos based on their packaging and their fragrance to be very honest with you i just loved how sun silk smelled um and also dove i have tried Tres to me i have tried mostly every shampoo that's like out there in the market that you would know and 
I have come to a conclusion that sulfates and parabens are not good for your hair. And uh, there are other no sulfate and no paraben shampoos like the Herbal Essence one which has a strawberry and mint flavor I think. I purchased that in 2020 during the lockdown and it completely dried down my hair. Um, it smelled amazing but it, it just did not suit my hair. But then I went for no sulfate and no paraben shampoo and I chose an expensive brand. Vela is slightly expensive. Like I said, I don't mind spending more when it comes to my body care and my hair because it's something I want to maintain my entire life okay 1150 bucks it's super pricey 1050 bucks so um you get it as a combo as well for 2050 rupees or 2000 bucks there are always like combo packs that come so i try and go for those because they're slightly cheaper then honestly when i tell you this shampoo has changed my hair baby okay i mean i was experiencing hair fall because i abuse my hair a lot like i color my hair every four months i blow dry my hair i style my hair i use a lot of heat on my hair and that's just who i am i just love playing around with my hair uh, but that is a lot of damage to your hair okay and i used to definitely get more than average hair fall when i tell you after using the shampoo and conditioner it's been over i want to say over five six months that i've been consistently ordering the vela elements this in in particular this does not cater to hair fall it doesn't say anti dandruff anti hair fall nothing it just says vela elements renewing shampoo zero paraben zero sulfates it doesn't claim to do anything for your hair i realized that my hair fall completely stopped like i get very average like regular hair fall that everybody usually gets you know so you it's okay to lose 100 hairs a day apparently and i'm sure i lose lesser than that I still color my hair, I still use heat on my hair and there is just very less hair fall. And I want to give credit to this because I don't oil my hair, I don't do anything additional to my hair apart from shampooing it. I'm very lazy that way. But I make sure I use a very good product and a very good brand. Now I know it's a very expensive shot to take and be like, okay, let me try this for two, 2050 bucks. If it doesn't work, then what? But I feel like give it a shot because no paraben and no sulfate is great for your hair. I'm 100% sure all the shampoos and the brands you're using right now have parabens, sulfate and other horrible chemicals in the hand that's why you're dealing with so much hair fall dandruff and a lot of things there are a lot of factors that cater to a lot of issues in the hair but um try and choose a good brand try and choose uh, brands that have no chemicals in it move towards that side of beauty because i feel like that's where the industry is heading anyway oh my god i feel like i spoke a lot but i felt like it was necessary to justify why spending 2000 bucks is so important for your hair it's because it gives you results you might not see it in the first few months but you will see it eventually because you keep using this product and it'll show you results so yeah highly recommend my personal favorite i hope it becomes yours as well um it's everything amazing that you need for your hair all right guys so that is all i have for you from my side these are the products that i've been loving over a few months uh, that are definitely gonna be repeats in the future i know most of them are like pricey except for the nivea one because even the color bar one is like, is like a thousand bucks but when i tell you you're paying for quality you are paying for the brand name of course but they give you results and that's why they're expensive now definitely you can have um inexpensive options out there which can be great as well but i'm yet to come across brands like that and i'm sure there are um i just want to say that these are my personal favorites and even though they're expensive you should definitely give this a shot because you're not going to regret these purchases. I am telling you, if there's something I use over and over and over for over months, there has to be something about these products that stand out for me. And I use a, a lot of different products on a daily basis to just, I use it once and I'm like, nah, man, I'm just not feeling it. You know, there are so many products that are much more expensive in my skincare drawer. They're like 5,000 bucks and they're all Korean brands. But I do not go back to them for some reason. They're 5,000 bucks. I'm just like, I'm not feeling it, you know? So if there's something I don't feel just because they're expensive, that doesn't mean they're good. So um, it really, really is a whole trial and error and just like testing out products for your skin. But I want to say that just because it works for me, it doesn't mean that it is going to work for you. All right, so that is it. Uh, thank you so much for hearing me out. I love you guys a lot. And I will be back with more product empties in the future once I collect it. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.